and it says the campground entrance is 500 feet away. We are actually almost there. I can't believe we're actually going to get to do a vacation this year, even though it's in the middle of mini vacation. Where are we going again? Pickney Recreation Area Bruin Lake Camper Cabin. Wow, that's a mouthful. There's the sign, Bruin Lake Campground. I can't believe we're here. And we're actually going to do it. Wow. So you excited, Stace? I am. She's wearing her little camping shirt and everything. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to go check this little cabin out and show you what it looks like and go over all of our keto prepped foods. It's going to be fun. It will be. I'm excited Me and too. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Hey Stace, what you doing? I'm making burgers. Making burgers for what? For camping. For camping? Gonna, you're going to grill them on the grill. Of course I'll grill them. I'll make them. You grill them. So it's really no different than our meal prep for the weeks. Correct. You know, we're just doing it to go camping with. Yes. We're going to get everything ready, then we're going to go out to the campground, and we're going to find a nice... Oh, we actually have our own little grill, don't we? Yeah. At that actual cabin. And we're going to mix these all up, get them all ready. We've got a little parchment paper here, and we've got a little dollar store hamburger press. I actually had a nice one and it broke on me. I haven't really used that one yet, so I don't know. And if it works, it works. If it don't, just hand form them. Yeah. So we got, oh, what do we got in here? Garlic, onion, salt, pepper, right? Yep. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. You're going to make probably about eh, a third to a half pound size burgers. You make like six of them for the two and a half days that we're going to be there. Yeah. That way we can have a burger. And each night we'll have a burger. And we're actually bringing some... Teton's sausages as well, um, Polish sausage type of thing. Yeah. So those are going to be awesome. I like Excited. those. Yeah. And we have a special treat. Um, what is it? Natural oven? Yes. It's either nature oven or natural oven. I think it's natural, natural. oven. Makes a keto hamburger bun and uh, they make a bread too. Probably not the cleanest keto, but for us, this is a vacation. And we are going to try the keto hamburger bun for the first time. A real hamburger bun, made by them, on a hamburger. So it's going to kind of, I wouldn't call it a cheat. It's just something I wouldn't use every single week or every yeah. day. And some people probably could. I'm just more sensitive being diabetic and all. And just really like to keep my keto super simple. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is uh, going to be really a fun little treat. So we're going to make up some burgers, get them all ready. Now, I've never used this, so... Oh, the press? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to see. It might be more trouble than it's worth. Huh. Everybody's waiting to see what comes out of it. <laughs> what? Oh, it actually did come out pretty good. Yeah, that's Sweet. a fat burger. That's a fat burger. That's what she said. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, there's the burgers that we're going to have. Yes. So recently I got an air fryer on Amazon and I've been using it to make wings. I'm going to pre-make these before we go camping, just put them into a small storage container and they'll be ready to just warm up. I'm going to also use some of this Creole seasoning on it. I'm going to put a little bit on real quick before we cook them up. This thing just works awesome. About halfway through, I'll shake them up and uh, put a little more seasoning on them. But I love this thing. Got a, it's even got a preset for chicken right there. It's chicken. So I can adjust the temperature and the time. I like them a little crispier. <laughs> Hey Stace. Hey Bill. What you doing? I'm making egg salad. Egg salad, huh? Yes. Is that for our camping trip? Yes it is. Yes it is. You're using that handy dandy little egg slicer thingy. I love my egg slicer thingy that your mama bought me. Yeah, my mom bought that for you. And yes. I bet you I know where she got it. 
Where'd she get it? Amazon. Amazon? Amazon. Oh, that's crazy. Speaking of Amazon, just got some foaming, foaming soap dispenser. And then we also got the regular shooting soap dispenser. Figure we're going to put one in the bathroom, probably the foaming one, and the regular soap one here. So, Stace, that goes beautifully. I know, done. it's so cute. Thanks. It's so cute. Now I have to rinse my hand because I have soap all over me. Wash your hands 50 times a day. Alright, looks good. I am going to cut some onion and add some mayo, salt, and pepper, and we'll be right back. This is one of my best Amazon finds. It's a portable Chefman K-Cup single brew coffee pot. And the reason I like this is for travel. I don't like using hotel coffee pots. I don't know what's been put through them. I don't know how they've been cleaned. I just get a little weird with that. Um, this works great for travel. It works great for visiting friends that maybe don't have coffee pots. It's so light, it's so small. It works so well. You will pour 14 ounces in it. This is a 16 ounce Contigo cup that I love. Put your lid on your cup and you're set. You can use any K cups in it or ground coffee that they give you this little insert. You put your own ground coffee in there. And then I just put some monk fruit drops in there for a little sweetener and you're ready to go. Hey everyone, this is Stacy and Bill. We are at the Pickney Recreation Area Bruin Lake Camper Cabin. It's Sleep 6. Well, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. We have our picnic area and fire pit over here to the left. Picnic area and fire pit. Yeah. We have our grill right over here. A little bit of a grill. Here's a little table where you can, and again, more chairs. Nice high ceilings with a lofty look and you got your window coverings for a little bit of privacy. Crawl up there into that big bed. Nice, nice, nice. So you bring your own bedding. You're all set there. Yeah. And uh, really, really cool little uh, setup. Let's go take a peek outside here. Now you have stairs on this side. But on the other side is a full ramp, so if you need a little extra help or you need the ramp, there it is, just in case. And right there is the parking. Nice and easy to get to. We are at the Pickney Lake Recreation Area having a keto lunch. Keto lunch. We have Tetons uh, Polish for yes. lunch. Bill has a little bit of onion, roasted peppers, ketchup, and mustard. Yep. I'm and plain and simple, and I just went with... Now these are, these are Grand Teton Polish, but we cut them in half and split them down the middle and put them on the keto-friendly hamburger buns. So it look a little strange eating a hot dog on a hamburger bun, but I've done worse. Yes. So, but these buns are pretty darn good. Um, I know they're not super strict clean keto, but for not cheating and being out and having a hamburger bun on a vacation, yes, it doesn't freak you out as much to know, okay, this is better than a steamer. Yeah, one every once in a while. Yeah, now, exactly. It's vacation. My peppers, because I like the crunch, as everybody knows. She are likes fresh. them raw. 
and rough. I wanted mine grilled, so I grilled mine. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be a great little lunch. And uh, we're enjoying the lake here and the cabin. It's been a lot of fun. We got some uh, Quest protein tortilla style chips, sort of like a Dorito. Again, something that, that we don't normally grab and use, but this is a mini vacation for us. And we're yes. still trying to stay keto. So, uh, you know, this morning I had a hard boiled egg. Um, I had a mission carb shell wrap with a little bit of um, bologna and black forest ham. My yeah. brain was going a little bit lost. <laughs> and some G Hughes um, honey mustard. Uh, just to give it a little flavor and to not be so dry. Yeah. That was really nice, you know, nice little break and a little bit of food. And uh, I wasn't yeah. so hungry, so I just had a handful of raw peppers. Uh, so, but I do have some yummy egg salad that I'll be eating uh, for a snack. And then for dinner, we have wonderful hamburgers that we're going to make on the grill. So Yes, we are. Probably I'm have excited. the other bag of these chips. Yeah. We've been splitting these chips. So, but... Two bags for the trip. Yeah. So this will be for lunch and then one for dinner. Nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, we're just having a lot of fun out here and we're really enjoying the, the campground. We went for a nice walk around the lake and out onto the pier. Yeah. Show you some pictures of that. It was really nice. And uh, yeah, we're still keeping the keto, even on vacation. So easy to do. Easy to do. Hey everyone, Bill and Stacy here with Bonsai Keto. It is dinner time. It is keto dinner time. Yes. Keto camping dinner dinner time. Dinner time. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm so excited. smelling all this wonderful food. So what are we having? We are having homemade burgers. Um, I prepped them at home with fresh ground beef, onion uh, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, salt. Mixed it all well together, used a hamburger press, and uh, preformed the patties. We brought them in frozen on parchment paper, and uh, they were ready to go. So we just... Cooking them. Bill Here. put them on the grill and yep. uh, cooked them up. And uh, he's done some grilled onion for his. And he has a little bit of raw onion left. I don't do onions. Um, I'm going to use American cheese. And the buns we're using are actually nature oven is that correct? Mm -hmm. Nature oven, and they're a keto-friendly bun. Now, it's maybe not super clean keto-friendly, but it's still better than just going and buying the regular buns. So, yeah. and this is a vacation for us. Yes. So, we're going to use a bun for once and kind of like live dangerously. <laughs> but I think they only end up being a couple carbs after you minus everything out. Right. But, uh, yeah, and then with that, we're going to have some Quest tortilla chips. Kind of like a Dorito, almost. Yep. And, and I uh, am having my fresh, raw peppers. peppers. I have orange, green. I don't have green. I'm lying. I have orange, yellow, and red. I'm excited to get to my burger. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have uh, pickles. Pickles. Pickles are always good. Who doesn't love a pickle? Get some water and some Diet Pop. And now we are going to enjoy a wonderful dinner. And we actually, <laughs> because we don't have hot dog buns, which we don't need them. So I sliced the Teton yep. in half and then down the center of it. And, and it uh, we put it on a hamburger bun. And you know what? It was pretty darn good. It was really good. When I was a kid, we didn't even have hot dog buns. You know what we did? We just took a piece of bread and we put a hot dog in it. That's what we did for hot dogs. My kids have no idea. They have no <laughs> idea. And that was only if we had bread. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to eat the hot dog. Mm. A little uh, no sugar added to uh, ketchup and a little bit of, just a little bit of mustard. I'm not a huge fan. I just want to squiggle. I, on the other hand, they love call mustard. That, oh my gosh, those They call that a squiggle. And uh, I think that this is it for me. Um, oh no, my onion. I need onion. I grilled a little bit of onion. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Now I'm going to make a lot of noise. Excuse me. Well, maybe I'm not. <laughs> Got to improvise sometimes. <clears throat> so our little friend is not back. 
earlier when we were eating, we had a little chipmunk friend. I got a little bit of a video of it. I tossed him a little bit of the bun that I had left and uh, a pepper. They don't like the peppers, but he did like the bun, but he didn't eat it right away. About a half hour later, I was sitting out on the deck just relaxing. Apparently, I was just so still relaxing. It came up underneath my feet, and then I saw him go down the deck. So I went out to the side of it and was looking over, and he stood there. He looked at me, and he wasn't moving, so I hurried up and got the video going. And he looked at me, wouldn't move, wouldn't move, wouldn't move. Then all of a sudden, he grabs the bread, and he starts eating. It was so cute. He's our little friend, but he doesn't like the green peppers. He doesn't like any of the peppers. Nope. That was not very Somebody nice. else will get it. A squirrel, a chipmunk. I don't know what it is. Somebody else will enjoy that. Mm. So, that. is this like officially like a mukbang video now? What is that? The mukbang. That's when they sit there and they just eat. When they're... you never seen those before? Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they, they sit there and they'll like have like a whole bowl of pasta or a big pizza or something. And they make a video and then all they do during that video is just continually eat. Really? Yeah. I, I might be pronouncing it wrong. I call it mukbang, but I think that's how you spell it. Stacey didn't get out much. Apparently not. <laughs> we're going to be showing her some YouTube stuff in a little bit. But but I've... considering because we're sitting here eating... And people said, just what, watch we, them eat I, I because guess. they eat like pigs it's, it's or like because that, of what they're eating? It's like that <laughs> ASMR, you know, the ASMR when they're making the noises and they're being really quiet. They're whispering and they're like brushing their hair. It's weird. That's weird stuff. That is one good burger, Stace. You make some good burgers. Mm -hmm. I did the easy part. Well, this um, little camping adventure has been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We walked out by the pier. We walked along the beach. Did a little little bit of a nice adventure walk. Mm -hmm. Showed Stacy every type of camper that's here. To see if I could get her interested in one. There's some really yet. cute teardrop campers that were here Yeah, those yesterday. little teardrops. It's just a bed with an open back and it's a kitchen. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I like it. I There's, could probably uh, build that. The only bad thing for me is that I go to the bathroom like 10,000 times a night. Yeah. I went to the bathroom a couple times. And, of course, before we went to bed, about 4 o'clock this morning, I woke up and I just, I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom. I didn't have the heart to wake Bill up to say I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Thank goodness the bathhouse is only 140 feet. And how do I know that, you ask? Because this is one of the parks I reserve for on my evening job for the reservation agent for the park systems. So I was able to kind of look and see, because that was important for me, because I go to the bathroom 10,000 times. And now you can tell them, if you get the cabin, you're right across from the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Really nice showers, too. Um, took all my stuff over to take a shower. You go in, you lock the door, you got a whole bench area, and yeah. you got jump in there, take a shower, nice and clean. I'm sitting here, and I have camping here, as you can see. Oh, me but too. But you know what? Yeah. I don't care. We're, we're enjoying ourselves. Fun. Yeah. And um, we have, like, the perfect weather. I'd say it's about 79, 80 degrees. Oh, it's been light beautiful breeze, all day. Light breeze. Beautiful day. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain. We were supposed to get rain this afternoon and never came in. Um, but it's showing probably 10, 11 o'clock. We're supposed to get uh, some rain. And even in this cabin, they have a ceiling fan, which is actually really helpful. Mm -hmm. Just moving that air, open the windows, move the air through. It's been really nice. I'm liking it a lot. We'll definitely <sighs> do it again. So as we promised, we are keeping it keto. We're doing a little bit off of our at-home basic keto. Like mm -hmm. me, I'm more like egg, bags, eggs, bacon, basic, basic, basic foods. Trying these buns, something a little different. The Tetons, something a little different, but still right. very good and fits in our keto. So, um, and it is vacation. So, I mean, I could have blown it and we could have drove through KFC and got a bucket of chicken and sit here and <laughs> eat chicken and 200, 200 carbs later. I don't do chicken off the bone. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> we would have been way off course. But right. With this, when you add it up in Carb Manager, you're still within your limits. And our snacks, um, we have pistachios with us, and we have almonds with us. Mm -hmm. um, I had egg salad a uh, little bit for breakfast. I wasn't very hungry. I had some raw veggies and uh, a few bites of egg salad, and that was enough for me. 
um, cause I knew we were going to have a really good lunch and a really good dinner. I think this is officially a mukbang video. <laughs> That's okay. We don't go camping. I haven't been able to get Stacy to go camping. Been together 30 years. We've never camped once. I need more pickles. I've tried so many times. That was a big pickle. Mm -hmm. I've tried so many times to get her to go camping. And uh, yeah, no luck. But she is liking the little campers, like the teardrops mm -hmm. and the small papas. They're just so cute. Yeah. We're going to do a bonfire so we gotta, tonight. We got to get Stacy sold on a little camper. I'm doing the Sprite's one of my all time favorite. So I have the Sprite Zero Sugar. Pretty good. And I normally don't do Diet Pop, but I got some Diet Mountain Dew that Julia and I have been splitting mm -hmm. for this little trip. And uh, yeah, I took one for lunch and one for dinner here, which is more than I've done in a long time. <laughs> she wants nothing to do with um, the whole camera. Mm -hmm. I tried to take a picture of her earlier, and she didn't even want to take a picture with us by the water. Nope. That's okay. Tons of fish. Yeah, lots of fish in the water that we could see. And lots of very cute kids fishing. Mm -hmm. He One caught a 17 boy. inch fish. Yeah, a uh, bass, a I bass. think he said. He was so excited. His little brother was a little, he was excited for his older brother. But Jealous. Because he says, I didn't catch any. <laughs> I felt really bad for the little guy. Yeah, you go on the pier and you look down, it's just fish everywhere. And I have a picture, Bill, I'll have to put it in there, um, of a lily flower. Yeah, it was flower in the lilies. Yeah, it was very cute. It didn't look like it belonged there, so I just had to take a picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good. So I've really enjoyed spending time with Stace on this little break. Mm-hmm. Because I normally don't see you. I have to confess, today I didn't even put my hearing aids in. No reason to. But just can, enjoy the deck. Yep. Been sitting out on the deck just enjoying and relaxing. And I'm uh, surprised I didn't catch you sleeping on the deck. At one point I felt like I was talking too much. Like I needed to get up and give her 20 minutes to try and take a nap. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> so. But yeah. It's been a lot of fun. I even have. I broke down and brought a laptop. I even have a couple of the programs that we always try and watch. We never have an opportunity to watch TV. So I actually grabbed them, put them on the laptop, So, because we don't have Wi-Fi or nothing here. But I can click it, and we can watch it right off the laptop. Mm -hmm. So that would be kind of, kind of fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me as I'm chowing down my burger. And the park really is not that busy today. Um, mm -mm. Most of the campsites that are by us are... Where'd the paper towel go? I stole it. I'm sorry, I'm messy. <laughs> I need a paper towel. I'm... On paper towel number two. All right, Spidey. I'm sure I'm going to have something on me by the time this is over. <laughs> no, but we're we're enjoying ourselves. We're kicking back and just doing a little bit of nothing. Phones have been ringing a lot, but I'm not answering mine. Stacy's answered hers, but I don't. Mm -hmm. This burger is much thicker than I normally eat. Mm-hmm. But it is really, really good. Before cooking, these were just under a half pound. Yeah. So that's a good size burger. We yeah. got a couple extra because, you know, once you do the grill up, make an extra one or two, maybe nibble on it later. Maybe I'll have a hamburger for breakfast. I don't mind. I'll do my eggs out for breakfast if I eat. If you eat. Yeah. I'm not always super hungry in the morning. So tomorrow's back to reality. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately I have to say goodbye to hanging out with Stace. So go back to her job stuff now. Go back to doing my junk. That's okay. We're going to enjoy the peace and quiet tonight, the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. We played some Yahtzee last night. 
Oh, Yahtzee, yes. My mom loved Yahtzee. And my mom and my aunt and my grandma used to sit and play Yahtzee for hours on hours. And so we had Julia play for the first time last night. I think she was okay with it. She, it's not her favorite. She came in second. Yeah. And then we tied one game. Um, so and it was as, definitely as the game, fun. As the game went on, she started to understand the strategy of, like, we take a zero for ones and try again, you know. Mm-hmm. So when she had a kind of yucky hand, don't don't mind us out something bigger. I wanted to bring a Zool, but nobody else wanted to bring a Zool. There's too much thinking. And I'm also the one that likes Sudoku. <laughs> it's too much thinking. For me. For you? Well, this burger is really darn good. Mm-hmm. I think the only thing that would make this better is if we had a bathroom in this cabin. That would be wonderful, for me anyway. Got decent beds, a little bit of padding, nothing great. Yeah. You know, all the windows. Ceiling fan is nice. Deck is beautiful. Lake view is nice. Got the fire pit, which we'll get going later. Mm -hmm. And the outdoor grill. I think I'd rather have like a very small propane <laughs> grill, or we have that little burner top thing that you just plug in. Yeah, you'd it'd have to cook easier. outside though, because you can't cook yeah, yeah. inside. But it'd be easier to cook with that than it, I could run an extension cord. But um, be easier to cook with that than with the charcoal and all that. Yeah, it was a pain. We obviously have a gas grill at home. I don't like waiting. <laughs> I just want to turn it on and cook in five minutes. I'm supposed to be eating my veggies. I haven't eaten any of my veggies yet. The burger is so good. I think the biggest thing that we forgot, and this is the first time camping for us, so it really didn't do so bad. Biggest thing we forgot, bug spray. I did have bug bracelets. And they didn't for whatever do anything. reason, they didn't work as well this year as they did last year when I bought them. So I don't know if I just bought a different brand or... No, it's just Walmart. Yeah. And they were fresh, weren't they? Mm-hmm. It wasn't like they were two years old and now they've lost. Right. A little bit warm. I just took my hoodie off a few hours ago. <laughs> I'll be ready for a shower before bed. I was cooking at that grill, too, though. The grill's yeah. hot. But I like it a lot. We didn't bring bikes with us because <clears throat> this particular park doesn't have paved paths anywhere. They do have some mountain biking trail stuff, and that's all off-road and it's all rough, and there's no way I'd want to do that. Mm -hmm. Not with my body. Maybe when I was 25 or 35, not 52. No, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. The bugs like my food, too, apparently. The bugs love my ankles. Yeah. So we're really enjoying this little mini vac vacation and uh, thought we'd share some of the highlights of the fun parts of it, some of the pictures and things, and uh, and mainly how we're doing it sticking with keto because yeah. sometimes you just got a little bit of, it's not much different than our meal prepping for the week because no. we meal prep at home for the week anyway. Right. I would make chicken up or whatever and tuna and things like that and then we would eat that through the next three, four days. Mm -hmm. Well, this was a little different because we didn't have as many things that we had at home. So you had to prepare everything to bring right. it here. But other than that, and just buying barbecue grill stuff because mm -hmm. we didn't have coals and all that. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. And uh, we did try a few things that we normally don't use or eat or try, like these buns. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm part of the Clean Plate Club. Well, my plate's a mess, but... Mm -hmm. These chips weren't bad. I kind of thought I really wanted them. You know, they don't taste bad, but they're almost all broken. Uh -huh. so it's all like baby chips. <laughs> baby shark a doo -de doo doo. Baby shark a doo -de doo. Yep. I horrify my daughter when I do that. Oh yeah, she hates it when we do that. 
So yeah, we figured we would um, jump on, tell everybody that we actually did make it for once. I think this is our fourth planned vacation. That yeah. And this one actually we were able to make happen, probably just because it's 13 minutes from home and you know yeah two nights, super simple, no flights, no, no hotels, flights. just just the cabin. It's outdoors. As long as Michigan doesn't close our parks, we can come here. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess that means we're done eating and we're going to go in. Got to go wash my hands. Got to go wash our hands. That's another thing. It would be nice if they had running water. Yeah, go over to We're just like wanting everything. I know. Bathrooms, water, all those basics. Imagine the people that are sleeping on the tent, in a tent on the ground. I'm not. I have to say, I mean, I know that they have like uh, little pads that you put down before the tent, but the grounds here are kind of rough. I can't imagine (laughs) Putting a tent down. They're very and sleeping uneven. On the, the ground, yeah. And they're very rocky and hard rocks. Yeah. I was wearing my Crocs earlier, and it hurt walking on the gravel because the gravel was so pointy and stuff. Yeah. So you know, I had to go switch to tennis shoes. Uh oh. We got some unhappy dogs apparently. It's a pretty dog. Oh. Just unhappy. All right. Well, we're gonna get going and uh, head in, clean up from dinner. Enjoyed that burger immensely. Got still two here left, so yeah, midnight I ate snack. The whole burger that's like huge for me. Or breakfast, probably breakfast. Still should stick to my sixteen eight window. Yeah, yeah, pretty good though. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, and if you're still watching, thanks for still watching. <laughs> See you later. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.